The greatest asset of your business is your database. It's not your computer, it's not your phone, it's not your apps, it's not the picture that makes you look so good your own mother doesn't recognize you on your business card. <laughs> Nothing you own in this business is of any permanent value outside of your database. Your database is your asset that needs to be grown to turn into a compounding effect. So, if you've been here once, if you've been here 40 times, this is just for you. <laughs> for some reminder and for some a wake up. All people are not the same in your database. All people are created equal in the sight of God. But all customers are not the same. You can have two transactions that pay the same amount. One was a joy, one was a privilege, one was an honor, and they go and tell all their friends. One was an up at dawn, down at dusk siege, and they took a piece of your liver, kidney, and a little bit of your rear end on the way out the door, and then they cut your commission. If that makes sense, say aye. aye. So here's what we do. We have A pluses. This is the 80-20 rule. A pluses. These are people who've sent you multiple referrals, the very best people in your database. Multiple referrals. If you've been doing it a while, it's multiple referrals that have closed. Oh, by the way, every single year your database is like a garden that needs to be weeded. Do not think, oh, I got this down. I don't have this down. Buffini and Company has to do this all the time. And we forget to sometimes. A, people most likely to refer you. This would be friends and family members. Your best customers who've referred you once in a while. B, these would be people who would refer you if asked and shown how to refer you. We do not ask people. We're afraid to ask people for referrals because we don't want to be a bother. We don't want to be a pushy salesperson. We don't want to make them feel uncomfortable, just so you know. They interpret that as indifference, that you're really not that into your business and you're really not that into them. All the studies show that. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it skillfully so you don't appear like that guy. Okay? We've all seen uh, Groundhog Day with the insurance salesman who's just obnoxious. And our, that would be our worst fear to be that guy. Well, we don't want to be that guy. I'm going to show you how to do it very skillfully, enjoyably. So, uh, I'm going to show you these methodologies are a fun way to do business with people. C clients are people who might refer you in the future. They might. So this would be new people in your database. I would put your sphere of influence in here. I would put your social media contacts in there. And social media is very important, by the way. It's a credibility check. If, if a 75-year-old lady gets a referral from another 75-year-old lady today at this world, they will get your name, and the first thing they'll do is Google it. Did you guys hear what I just said? Grandma's Googling on her phone. Grandma's down. Okay? So you've got to have a proper social media presence. If you're wearing a bikini and spouting off your political opinions, I wouldn't highly recommend it, guys. I thought that was funny. <clears throat> and then you have the Ds, the people to be deleted from your database. Okay? 